Hey guys, it's Lisa and today we are going to do this makeup look. I am calling it a good old 90s Kate Moss makeup look. A good grungy, smoky eye, winged out, smudgy liner, winged out, smudgy shadow, a good sculpted face, and a good Kate Moss nude lip. Along with doing this look, I am using my tried and true, used for years, products that I wholeheartedly recommend. I did try one new palette and it was not good. And we tried it several times, it just was not good. And it's the 24 karat nudes. So now you know you won't be tempted to get it because it is a good looking palette. But we used all the things that I just love. My favorite blush, foundation, mascara, eyeliner, all of those good things. So if you'd like to get this look, then just keep on watching. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Glow Booster, and I remember this was hard to get this color when it first came out. What shade is it? Two. But I just wanted to put a little bit of this on just like right there. We're going to do kind of like a Kate Moss rocker type look. Like more of an edgy. You guys know what I like. So I am glad I put that on because you can see it certainly gives you some glow, which I really don't need because I have oily skin, <laughs> but I know a lot of you have dry skin, but you do see it gives you a little bit of coverage. Speaking of coverage, I was looking at all of my other foundations and I think this is my favorite because it's a good tone and it's a good amount of coverage. And it is the L'Oreal True Match N3 Neutral Light medium. It does come with a pump, so I'm going to do one pump, usually per side. Wow. It's a little light, but it's beautiful. It actually is the color of my skin. I'll just have to bronze up a little bit. But you know, when I think of Kate Moss, I don't really think of bronzy. Typically, I think of more contoured, and that's what I like. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Put some right in here. This beauty blender is damp, and I do just go over my eyelids for eyeshadow base. And then I'm going to give this Fit Me powder another shot because it's done me dirty a few times, but I was thinking, I think I used a puff, and that's just not the way to go with especially this powder. So I'm going to use my damp beauty blender, pick up some of this Maybelline Fit Me powder, and the shade I like is, I think it's number 10, yes, Fair Light. I'm going to work it in my sponge really well. And then I'll use the end to go over my eyes. I'm going to dip it again, tap it off. And if you are not as oily as I am, and I live in a humid climate, then you may not need to powder this much, but I do the T-Zone, oh my goodness, within, I would say an hour usually, my T-Zone is shiny, no matter what powder I've put on or primer. But that gives you a great, even base. The brushes I'm using today are those same ones I used last time I did a drugstore tutorial. They're from Eco Tools, and I have enjoyed these. I had these downstairs in my bathroom, and I've been using them. And 
I'm going to use this big one and get a little bit of powder and just powder the rest of my face only because this foundation is a little light for me. So I know that I'm going to have to warm it up. Therefore, I want something on my skin that makes the next product go on smooth and easy without being patchy. And I went downstairs and got this palette. It is the Physician's Formula Contour Palette. This stays with me all the time. This is right down there with the high-end makeup. I use it a lot for eyeshadow too, but for sculpting today, I'm gonna to use this color. And do I want this brush or do I want, let's try this brush. It's very pigmented, so I'm gonna Blend it out on my hand. And I'm going to start that. I'm going to do a little bit more than normal because I don't have Kate Moss cheekbones. And I definitely have a bigger forehead. <laughs> Jawline, I can just go all in because you're wanting to create that shadow. And then I usually bring it down, maybe a little bit on the end of my nose. Okay, now I do want to go in with a little bit of my favorite drugstore bronzer. Look at this sucker, has been through it. So with this brush, which is, it comes as a set. I'm gonna do more like all over the cheek. highlight because when you think of Kate Moss do you think of highlight I don't I do think she wears some shimmery colors on her lids sometimes but I think the blush that I have which is my all-time all-time favorite blushes may come blushes may go but my all-time drugstore favorite will always be Milani Luminoso so I'm gonna take this and just Kind of beef up my cheekbones a little bit. And that's enough highlight. Like that. I'm gonna use the brush that I used for contour with the bronzer. <laughs> Tricky like that. Behold. And just give myself a little bit of a stronger cheekbone. I'm gonna put my hair down, so, okay. I think that's good. I think that's a good, good start. I think Kate would be proud. This is something I had downstairs. One of you told me about this. It's Physician's Formula Mineral Powder. And I've used it and it was so good. I just can't figure out, okay, let me wipe this brush off. I'm gonna get some of my brush. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it kind of warmed up down there. It's like a foundation powder. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? I just knew it would give that mineral glow. There's just nothing like mineral loose mineral foundation. Okay, for eyeshadow palettes, I brought out my favorites for years now, and that is the Revlon So Fierce. And then remember, I got this one. I think my last tutorial with you guys was a 90s simple minimal supermodel, and this was a little much for that, but I thought this would be great for today. And don't throw away this little thing because I think this guy is gonna come in handy. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna do a nude lip, of course. First, let's use Matt's It. I don't necessarily think of Kate Moss overlining her lips a lot. So I'm gonna go see, you can see the ridge of my lips. like that and this is matte's it i do like matte stir mind 
it's a little pinker. I think that's good because when I think of Kate Moss, I don't think of lip liner. Like, you know my favorite is Naomi Campbell. I love her lip combinations. Oh my gosh, I love them. So I've got a couple of different options here when it comes to lips. Think of beigey nude more than I think of peachy or pinky nude. And so I do have this Revlon Bear It All. And let's try it. Perfect. Yay! Creamy. That is beautiful. Love it. That's going to be perfect for our smoky, smoky eye. Okay, and I'm trying to put everything I use over here. Let me show you Matte Stir Mind, too. If you are not as into the brown. I keep all my stuff in these little containers, which helps. Usually I have it more organized. Okay, and this is Matt's It. So Matt's It, Matt Stermind. Must-haves, must-haves. Right up there, better than Chanel, better than Estee Lauder. Just must-have lip liners, along with uh, Magnetic Mauve from uh, Maybelline. These are if you like roll-ups. Okay, Magnetic Mauve. That's if you wear more mauves and pinks. And then one of my all-time most used lip liners is Totally Toffee. And even though it's a roll-up, I can still get that little end to get slanted and get a good lip line. So these nude lip liners, honestly, will take you everywhere you need to go. Today I'm gonna to use the NYX Taupe. This is a good one. I had, I had to get this from downstairs. It's another thing that lives downstairs in my high-end makeup drawer. And I'm just kind of doing my brows. I'm not trying to copy Kate Moss's brows because my brows are, honestly, I think they're too thick right now but I haven't really had a moment to just mess with them and really try to thin them out. What I like to do is to take that whole last row off, but it is high maintenance. Those suckers grow back like overnight and they look like this, like too much. That's too much, but it's done now. And then take a clear mascara, your favorite brow gel, and just keep them slicked back. I do, even if you don't color in your brows, I would always say to at least put clear brow gel. Okay, so on all of the pictures, of course, my eye shape is just drastically different than Kate Moss. She has a hooded eye. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take a light shimmery color out of this palette. And I'm going to, okay, I'm gonna need a lighter color than that probably. Let me go ahead and do the other side. Okay, now let's, okay, this might not be a good palette. I might have to switch, this is my first time. Let's see, let me go to my go-to palettes here. Let's do this one. Okay, see the difference? Like that. I'm wanting something, maybe it's the brush. No, this is a little bit more. Okay, I'm wanting that more white above. And then for the 
crease color, I want to use this contour color because that's all I'm trying to do is get a good contour. So I'm going to dip my brush in this, kind of work it in, and then I'm going to just go on my brow bone. Go wherever yours is. If you're trying to create a crease, put this where you're trying to create a crease. I am trying to recess that bone. And I'm also kind of setting the stage for all of this dark liner, dark liner and dark shadow. I'm going to want something for it to blend into. You won't even notice this in the end, but it helps with the blending. This kit really has some good small brushes. And I'm going to run it right under my lash line like that. And you want to run it all the way in and all the way out. Okay, we're going to do something today I haven't done in a while. I meant to get one of my business cards, and but I think I can use this. Just use any business card, credit card, make yourself a little template, anything like that. And we're going to do a, and I'm going to use this small brush, we're going to do we're going to include the bottom right here, so you don't come right off of here. Include the bottom, and let's do a wing shadow and then come onto the lid, like that. I pressed down too hard on my card. Okay, and you'll notice with a smaller brush, you're going to get more pigment. Okay, very good. And you know what? I'm going to wipe off that little brush. I could honestly do all of my makeup with about three brushes. I'm going to dip it in this highlight color. And I'm going to highlight in there, just with this natural matte, like that. Okay, now I think it's going to be all about the smudge. And one of my favorite liners for that, and I did sharpen this. This actually comes with its own sharpener that would be better. It makes it longer, but I always lose them because they're just for this. So I did buy this Maybelline little sharpener and see this side, you can take that out and sharpen this pencil. So go, this is like a preliminary, just getting down to your lashes. But see how pretty that is? How it's not crazy inky black and it's already kind of smoldery and smudgy looking. I think this is called um, yeah, vol voluminous smoldering. And then we're going to kind of bring it out just a little bit. Like that. And then thicken it up at the end. Like that. And then bring it out a little bit more. Just do whatever you are comfortable with as far as a wing. Because my eyes turn down, I like to thicken up the edges just a little bit more than most. But you'll see hers, and we'll, you're going to see this in a minute, we're going to join with the bottom. So I'm not doing as severe of an uptick. I'm just kind of doing it smoky and out. Like that. Yes, definitely. So this is going to give me more of her, because her eyes, they're not downturned, but they're not upturned either. I'm kind of trying to go straight out and see right here where I didn't get into the lashes. Make sure you get in there. She definitely lines her waterline, but it looks like she just uses shadow on the actual bottom lash line. So we're going to use this We're going to line the bottom waterline and the upper. 
And so you should really see not a lot but black all around the eyes. Now take like this little smudger thing and kind of smudge it like that. I mean, this would probably happen over time. You might not need to smudge this liner, but for this look, I wanted to smudge it some. And then I'm even gonna take this and smudge out this top. The picture that I'm looking at really got some smoky out here okay should we give this palette one more try let's give this one more try let's take this little brush from here and let's go into this little charcoaly olivey looking shadow and let's just see does it do anything you guys Okay, let's give it another. This is gonna be strike three. I'm gonna use this little pencil brush and I'm just gonna dip it in that same like blacky green color. And the official verdict is this is not any good. This is junk. <laughs> Don't get that one. Get one of these. Okay, so now let's just go back to what I know is good. And this is perfect. This is That's a Dub. No, this is, uh, yeah, That's a Dub. It's my favorite one out of all of them. So get some on your brush. These are creamy, almost like Tom Ford. Yep. And you're, okay, this is going to be messy. And she kind of really even comes up here in the crease a little bit. Like that, yeah. But just on the outside, everything's, yeah, towards the outside like that. And I think I'm gonna come a little bit further over on my lid so that I don't have quite as big of a space, yeah. Okay, I'm also, Gonna take this down here and meet it up. And her dark is coming out more like that. Out and up. Out and up. Like that. And then she does have a little bit of like that goldy shimmer which is perfect because guess what I've got? Some of this little goldy shimmer right here. Right there. I'm gonna go into this and into this just to lighten it. She has it right there. Kind of going underneath. This is gonna be bad for me because it's gonna highlight every wrinkle I'm gonna take this lightest, two lightest colors again and kind of clean up up here. If I had to say anything, it would be that I might need some more of the dark up a little bit. Like that. Okay, I thought we would just go back to some oldies and goodies, the Jubilee. And this is what I do. I take them right off of the card. And I know to fit my eye, I need to take three bunches off of the end. So I will take my scissors and I will cut 
the three bunches off, which leaves me with like a three quarter lash. Duo Dark that you can pick up at Walmart. I kind of want to evaluate this with my hair down. I think I, I feel like I need some more highlight right in there. But, oh, this is a good one right here. This palette. Another. Contour palettes are like one of my favorite things. This is the NYX Contour Palette. And this has a really good highlight shade in here. And let me grab a Real Techniques brush. I mean, we know these are good. I'm gonna get some highlight. Yeah. I'm going to make my face look even more chiseled. Yeah, and let's take a little bit of this and she has kind of low cheekbones. Like that. And her face, like her contour comes in more like that. Okay, is that better? Okay, good stuff, good stuff. This is stuff I've been using for years. Okay, now get my hair out of the way again so it doesn't. The worst thing is when one little hair will get stuck in your eyelashes when they're drying and then when you go to get the hair out of your eyes, it pulls your whole lash off. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Okay, now mascara. The L'Oreal Bambi Oversized Eye. We'll do this while our lashes are drying. And you might be thinking, Kate Moss doesn't really use false lashes. And I would say you're right. Just do whatever you feel comfortable in, okay? And then, I'm definitely gonna touch those lower lashes. Okay. Best mascara ever, ever. I also brought it from downstairs. <laughs> and then we're going to just place these right where my eye starts to turn down and then put them right there. And see how that lifts my eye and brings it that much further up. You're basically just sitting it down. And that way they don't pop up because you're not really bending them that much either. Okay. I would say that is a rocker smoky eye what do you think about the lip i think the lip is good the only thing i could do maybe is blot it a little bit make it a little bit more worn in it's not like kate moss always has perfect hair we're gonna mess up our hair what do you think rocker 90s kate moss <laughs> I hope you guys like this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for keeping me company and enjoying makeup and all these girly things with me. Thank you to Walmart for asking me to partner with them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.